Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a good week so far, and it's the start of a wonderful weekend. Um, excuse me. One second. My cord is stuck. Okay. Well, I'm ready. I hope you're ready, because I have a lot to talk about today it's gonna be so much fun this month um row by row starts uh in just a couple of weeks actually i think it's less than two weeks but thereabouts anyway it's june 21st and here's my row can you see it now it's called launch picnic and a couple of things I wanted to point out to you. All of these um, picnic items, the watermelon, we've got a hot dog, we have a cake and a hamburger and one shell. And it could be, you know, any shell that is included in the kit. But for a really, really low price, I'm thinking probably around $2.99, I'm going to give you a bunch of other buttons and an embellishment um, button kit that you can purchase if you'd like and I'm super excited one of those buttons that I have coming in that I'm probably going to add to this row is a cute little seagull button um, I haven't quite decided whether it's going to be in the actual row or as part of the embellishment kit but all of these buttons plus I even have a lot more are part of kits, row by row kits from previous years. Um, all of these, and I have a few other ones. So, if you've purchased my row pre, my rows previously, and you plan on doing anything kind of like a, you know, with all of them together, um, the buttons will just help you kind of make everything match. And I like buttons. I like those kind of buttons. So that's it i'm super excited i've already ordered the donuts so we'll have donuts and i'll be open at 7 a.m on that day um we'll have coffee tea water donuts it should be a lot of fun i was a little leery this year because i it just took me so long to come up with the design um normally i don't have that much trouble but this year i had a very difficult time coming up with a row you know and a design for it um, now that it's all in cement, I'm super happy about it. Okay. Um, sea Glass by Blank Quilting should be here by Tuesday at the latest. Um, this is so cute. And it comes with, I have two, two free patterns. I only have one here. But there's another pattern that isn't, um, does not include the panel. But, um... I really like this design. It's called Sea Glass and it's got teals and greens and blues. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, Linda um, is teaching the um, um, quilted duffel bag class starting Tuesday. So this is the one that you've seen in the shop many, many times, this fabric. But we decided to make it it doesn't look as bulky as this one, only because this one's stuffed with paper to kind of help keep its shape. But um, we decided to make a different fabric, a one in a different fabric line. This one is Bohemian Rhapsody. And I know it doesn't look like it, but it's all the same fabric because it's an ombre. So it has a lighter version and a much darker version. But that is, thank you, Yvette. Um, starts Tuesday so if you want to take this class I highly suggest making sure you sign up early because it was very popular before and we've had a lot of people asking about it and now that it's on the schedule um, it, it's probably gonna fill up we've already got some people signing up so better to be safe than sorry today I'm super excited about this I know I told you guys about uh, Amelia Scott's new custom uh, quilting with your embroidery machine book that came out. 
she debuted it at market and um, I got it before she even went to market and it's been very very popular well today we're going to start this class so the first day unfortunately there's no embroidery the first day it's just making the table runner and you can literally shop in your stash to do this it's not a lot of fabric um, you need four um, jelly roll strips for these pieces you need three four and a half inch width of fabric strips for your border and um, I believe it's a half yard for your setting triangles and squares it's a really quick and easy table runner um, you should be able to get this done no problem in the first class um, and then we'll, we'll start quilting it next week. So I'm super, super, super excited about that one. It's going to be fun. Um, this is a technique that I have used for years. And Amelia came out with a book for everybody to do it. Um, another class today, which I really like, is um, these are you, this is class uses. Deb Tucker from Studio 180's Le Mo Rapid Fire Lemoyne Star and the Tucker Trimmer. If you have them, which a lot of people, believe it or not, do and they just don't use them or they're not sure how to use them, um, this is the class for you. And we're going to be teaching this. It's called Christmas Everlasting. It, I know it says Christmas, but it does not have to be Christmas colors. Um, just to give you an idea. <coughs> I happen to do it in Christmas cause, and in blue because I like blue. But this is the smallest star that you'll be making. And um, it's really going to be fun. And it gives you an opportunity to use those rulers that a lot of us have that you're just not quite sure or um, nobody's actually showed you how to use them. I love her rulers. I think they are amazing because they're not what I call a one-off ruler so you can do more than one thing with them they're not only one thing um, and I think once you start using them you're really gonna enjoy them one more quick announcement and on then I will show you some good stuff that came in the retro gaming quilt people have been coming in and grabbing fabric and information um, that starts June 17th on a gaming streaming site. Tony will be uh, streaming on Twitch. If you don't have a Twitch account, don't worry because it will be streamed the following day or posted the following day on YouTube. And I will be offering free classes every Wednesday um, if you need help. This is a, a fairly simple quilt. Her patterns are well known in the industry because of her being a gamer. But if you've never tried a pixel um, quilt or block, yeah, I think you can have a lot of fun. Um, a lot of your grandkids and your kids are going to know these characters. And you may know some of them too from, you know, way back when, when Atari first came out. <laughs> but um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you need help with that, uh, I will be posting links to the YouTube on my Facebook and I will be emailing them out to everybody because um, not everybody's on Facebook and um, hopefully I hope you enjoy it I think it's gonna be a lot of fun okay now to the good stuff not that all this other stuff isn't good but Westerly rulers okay you've all seen the sample set this is the one that we're doing the block of the month on but now I have them in the long arm. So anybody with a long arm or a mid arm um, and wants to do this, this is highly transferable from your um, single needle home machines to the larger machines. And this is gonna be, I, I love doing roller work. I mean, I can't say enough good things about it. Anybody who knows me, I don't free motion quilt. I just don't I can't walk down the street and chew gum at the same time um, and for me free motion you need to be able to do that but my head my hands and my feet just don't all work together at the same time ruler work just takes the guessing out of it and it's so much fun and so for me I think it's the easiest free motion quilting you can do and 
the hardest part of the whole, even if you don't do rulers, but for free motion itself, is figuring out your needle speed. Once I show you some tips and tricks on how to do that, it takes that one part out of the equation, and with the rules, it just makes it easy. On um, something else we received, um, Leona West, who is the creator of all these wonderful rulers and templates, came up with um, a ruler, a uh, quilt in a bag item. This is, I think, the third one that she's done this way. Now, basically, what does that mean? First off, you get this wonderful mini Yazzy bag, which is kind of like the bigger ruler bags that I've been selling, but everything you need with the exception of your ruler foot is in this bag. And if you can't come to a class, that's okay because the bag has got you covered. So when you open the bag, you get a DVD. So this is gonna be Leona herself showing you all the steps to this quilt. And one of the great things about the quilt is it's done as a quilt as you go. Now, I've posted on Facebook and um, it was, it will be in an email, probably in the newsletter next month, or I'm trying not to inundate everybody with emails because I know I don't like when mine get clogged up, but some of this stuff just wasn't here for the newsletter. Um, anyway, on Facebook, I posted multiple different fabric options with this. Um, you can make it as big or as small and doesn't have to look exactly like this. It can be a whole cloth quilt. Um, there's just endless possibilities. And depending on how many blocks you do, I believe there's 11 different block options that you can do. Um, but depending on how many you do, which way you turn them, if you do an extra row, you can literally make it as big as you want. It is designed the way she sets it up to be, she could be able. 87 by 78 okay it's 41 blocks seven rows but i've seen this done as a baby quilt we obviously don't do as many you know rows um a table runner you, there's endless possibilities it's a great way to practice and by doing it as a quilt as you go you're not dealing with a huge quilt under your machine so that's kind of important when you're learning um these techniques in the beginning um it's better to set yourself up for success instead of trying to wrestle a big giant quilt and do this all you're dealing with is one square or one row small row of fabric okay so back to it sorry i get off on a tangent once in a while so you get the dvd you can watch it as many times as you want you can pause it go back to it it's perfect and i really like Leona. I think she teaches really, really well. You might have seen these in the store, but this is a mini version. This is only eight and a, eight inches. Um, it's the grid lines, and it's uh, six. Uh, yeah, six points. So this is just for this quilt. Although, did I take that back? It's in here for this quilt. But later on, you can use it for any other quilt. And this is what we use to mark our quilts or our pieces so we know where to put the rulers. Uh, see, we get a nice little, see, just a nice little mini bag and everything fits perfectly. And I really like these bags. These are by Yazzie. I, I think they make great bags. Okay. You get an extra spacing gauge. Now, I don't know about you. They have this nice little hole in here. See if you see it. Okay. Um, I have started putting a little piece of ribbon or um, a keychain fob or anything like that and sticking that ribbon underneath one of the feet of my um, extension table because I'm forever looking for this all the time. And if you've got one already, that's okay. Put one in your class bag and one by your machine. 
That way you'll always have them. These things are amazing and make your life so much easier. All right, we get the Hearts of Plenty Continuous Border piece, which I know it looks kind of funny, but trust me, it's cool. And it's a nice big piece, so it works on um, some really good board, big, good size border pieces. And we get a spinner flex, spinner fex effects. La, 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 can't talk today. Spinner, spinner fex number eleven. This is what does those wonderful, um, um, like medallion centers, or you know, think of this being a border. And I know it looks big, but your needle is going to come a quarter of an inch from the ruler. So if this was your border, you could just do a, like a scalloped or a picket fence edge on the fabric. Good morning, Antoinette. Um, I, I'm sorry. I get really excited about this stuff. I think it's so much fun. Okay. We have a um, continuous border loop. Can you see this? That's kind of what the design is. And it'll just go, and I know it looks simple, but if you've ever tried free motion without any of the guides and the rulers and the templates, doing that loop is not as easy. Take it from somebody who knows. Okay, then the final thing in the pack is the Sashley Quilt Ruler. Aw, everybody. That's my daughter. She says, my grandbaby's watching me live. Hi, Aurora. Nana loves you. Isn't that sweet? Um, the Sashley Quilt, ru quilt Ruler um, line works. Now, what this is great for, there's a couple of different ways, and um, Leona will show you how she uses this to do... Um, the sashing in between the blocks so you're actually joining um the blocks of your quilt that you've already quilted with sashing with this ruler and if you're taking the ruler work block of the month um we've got enough blocks now this up to now that this month's class we're going to be working with this ruler and we're actually going to join the center of our quilt so this should be a lot of fun this is also great if, um, even if you want to stitch in the ditch, okay? I know stitching in the ditch sounds simple, but for new people, if you um, aren't quite sure what you're doing, you get a little wobbly, and it can be a little difficult. Well, with this, you're using this line here and this line here to line up with your ditch. Your ruler fit, foot fits perfectly in here and you just stitch and it'll be literally in the ditch perfectly straight every time. So you get down and all you do is move the ruler down and stitch again. Move the ruler down, line it up and stitch again. It's so easy this way. Um, if you can stitch in the ditch, that's okay. What about... Um, Okay, what about like a lattice work on something small or for quilting? This will help you with that too. You can use your straight ruler foot, but sometimes um, having the ruler and the, the canal to stitch in the ditch or to do um, lattice work no, Antoinette, there is, this is called Class in a Bag, and there's a DVD. So you get everything that's here to make a whole quilt, including the DVD. The only thing that's missing is the ruler foot, and I'm just going over what's in the bag. If you needed help, you could come to a block of the month class or schedule um, a special class if you had any questions with this after you watch the DVD or have problems. Um, Back to what I was saying. Having the ruler, just a straight ruler, and using your ruler for, foot going across, sometimes for some people is a little bit intimidating. So if you wanted to do lattice work, 
but you don't want to use the straight ruler, having this little bit of canal where your ruler foot is going to fit perfectly in there. Can you see that? Okay, so your, your ruler is going to fit perfectly in there. Sometimes is just enough of an edge to help you get over your worries. I mean, let's face it, we're all worried about what we're doing. We are our worst critics, um, but it really is a lot of fun, honest. Also, the final thing in the package, in the bag, are, um, oh, I forget what they call them. These are what you put on the underside of your templates, you know, in small pieces. You're not gonna use this whole piece. You just need a couple of small pieces here and there in key points to help grip. It's a gripper. Um, so they have tape on one side and the gripper on the other. And it just helps give you a little bit more control when you're quilting. I'm sorry, I got a little long-winded there, but it's something that I really, really enjoy. Antoinette, the entire package, including CD patterns and all the templates and the bag, is $110. It's really fun. I mean, really fun. Anybody have any other questions on this before I go on to some new critiques? See? That's all you need. That and your ruler foot. But it's a lot of fun. Okay, let me make some room here. All right, no questions. Let's get on to some scrumptious critiques. Paisleys. Again, I know I ordered a lot of paisleys in different colors. Maybe Antoinette. It's a lot of fun. Um, this one here is pastel, all different pastel -y colors. So we've got pink and purple and blue and yellow and a little bit of light green. It, um, it really, sh because of the light background, it really shows off the pastels well. Um, not the pastels, the paisleys. Okay. This one is another light color, just in time for summer. This one here, they call this paisley too because of this little, what looks like a paisley design. Um, and by the way, these are all by Island Batiks. But I look at it as more of a scroll. It's got, to me, it looks like it's got a lot of scroll work too. So this is, and it doesn't show it really, really well. This is like a, a very light tanny brown gold background. And it has green, purple, teal um, in different shades for the design. I know, Suzanne. Good morning, Susan. Um, it would. I really like it. Now, swirls. What can I say? Paisley and swirls. I like them. And the swirls, to me, are a wonderful tone on tone that can be used as any solid. So, I have a lot of these two coming in. All different colors. I mean, literally all different colors. So, this swirl is teal. And it doesn't, sh there, I think that shows the color a little bit better. Then, just in time for us to do our Christmas. Everlasting. This one. Um, some of these fabrics are here now. And... snowflakes lots of snowflakes okay so we've got swirls in this green this is a wonderful um it's not as dark as it looks um it's got that christmas green hunter green feel and color in the swirls and we got some a great red now how fun is this red sometimes reds in batiks um have a tendency to go orange or pink this one is a really cherry red. 
So, and it's got the faint swirls. But look at it from back here. It reads solid. It really does. And we have Christmas ornaments in green. How fun is that? I really like these batiks a lot. That's my problem. I get myself in a lot of trouble that way. I like it all. And here is deers. Now, reindeers. But this looks like just an ornament. And you've got this wonderful motif in the center with the little, see the little Christmas tree? How fun is that? And they're in batiks. Can't get better than that. And this one, because you know I like blue. I'm not so much a red and green person for Christmas. I like blue, but. Which one, Antoinette, the deer, the reindeers? Look at this. It's a navy blue background with these tan star uh, snowflakes. Right? Isn't that pretty? I think that's it. It was a lot longer video than I was expecting, but I had so much to show you all. Yes, internet, it is wonderful. Um, I think that's it. Other than the sea glass coming in Tuesday, um, I have some more Florida applique uh, banner rolls, the state roll rows, rolls, rows. <laughs> Kind of like um, the same, the, I have the America and the Florida Rose coming, um, not the America, but the Florida Rose coming in probably sometime next week before um, row by row. So if anybody missed those last year, they'll be back in. Other than that, I think that's it. I don't think I can think of anything else. Does anybody else have any questions or comments? If you guys want to learn something new, because sometimes I struggle with figuring out classes for you, um, let me know. I mean, send me a message, send me an email, let me know. I will be happy to teach you whatever you want that's, you know, not too difficult as far as, you know, I have to order a zillion things for it, but give me some ideas. If you want to learn something new and nobody else is teaching you, you're not sure where to go, drop me a line. It might be something that I've already had on the schedule in years past and it would be really easy to bring it back, but just give me a heads up. Um, other than that, you know where I am. I'm always here. And if you need anything, just send me a message or give me a call. If I don't answer the phone right away, please leave me a message. Antoinette, the rulers are a lot of fun. I mean, a lot of fun. I got myself in a lot of trouble with rulers. <laughs> Because I guarantee you, everything I bring in goes into my pile. All right, everybody. I need to start my day. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. You know where I will be. If you have any questions, need anything, talk to you later. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Bye.